إن الحمد لله تعالى نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم أما بعد The best of all slaves and the most guided and the one with the most perfect servitude to his Lord is the one who fulfills inaba. And the joy of the heart and the comfort of the soul come as a result of inaba. What is inaba that is so important? Linguistically, inaba is to return something to another time and time again, repeatedly. And Islamically, it is to return the heart to Allah Azza wa Jal after it was attached to other than Him with love, hope, and fear in all affairs, as well as when one is in need of something. Ibn al-Qayyim said, Inabah is to fully devote your heart to Allah Azza wa Jal. And then, he elaborated, saying, Inaba is of two types. One that is general, and one that is special. The general one is the type which all kinds of people do. Muslims and non-Muslims alike. That is when people are afflicted with difficulties and hardships. As Allah says, وَإِذَا مَسَّ النَّاسَ ضُرٌ دَعَوْ رَبَّهُمْ مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ And when adversity touches the people, and the people here is referring to the mushrikeen, to the polytheists. دَعَوْ رَبَّهُمْ They supplicate their Lord, مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ turning to him alone for help. So you see, there is no virtue in this type of inaba. Because Muslims and non-Muslims, obedient and disobedient people, all do that. And it is common that people, after the adversity or hardship is removed, Go back to the original state they were upon before they were afflicted. If Allah Azza wa does not bless them with guidance, 
So they go back to misguidance and disobedience and disbelief and so on. Now the second type, he said, is the special type. We ask Allah to make us amongst them. He said, this is the type that is done by the awliya, the pious people. It is the type that's done willingly, by choice. It is the type that includes love, submission to Allah Azza wa Jal, devotion to Allah Azza wa Jal, and turning away from anything other than Allah Azza wa Jal. That is a special type. And when you do that, and it's coming out of these four elements, it is indeed something that reflects true and real servitude to your Lord. A lot of people confuse inaba with tawbah, turning to Allah and repenting. Shaykh al Uthaymeen said, though the meanings are close, yet, Inaba has a more precise meaning to it as it conveys the sense of dependence and reliance upon Allah in addition to fleeing to Him for refuge. Feeling the need for Allah Azza wa Jal. Inaba is one of the most distinct qualities prophets and messengers possessed. And they are the worthiest of possessing the loftiest qualities. Allah Azza wa Jal informs us in the Quran about many of his prophets and messengers that they possessed this quality of Inaba. After Allah tested Dawood and he realized that he has been tested, what did he do? Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَاسْتَغْفَرَ رَبَّهُ وَخَرَّ رَاكِعًا وَأَنَاب He asked forgiveness from his Lord and went down in prostration and turn to his Lord. Turn to him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shu'ayb alayhi salam. Wama tawfiqi illa billah. Alayhi tawakkaltu wa ilayhi unib. My success is only through Allah. Upon him I have relied. And to him, I return. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. ذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبِّي عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَإِلَيْهِ أُنِيبُ That is Allah, my Lord. Upon him I have relied, and to him I turn. You see, inaba is an obligation upon the slave. It's not something that one can or can't do. It's not up to me and you. It's not a choice. Why? Because Allah commanded the slaves, commanded his slaves to fulfill inaba. Allah says, وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَنِيبُوا Anibu is an order. It's a command. Return to your Lord. Turn to your Lord in repentance. And submit to Him. And to teach us the importance of Inaba, one of the 
supplications of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said frequently alayhi salatu wa salam and this is reported by al-imam Ahmad in his musnad and classified as authentic by al-Albani he used to say and it's a long supplication but part of it he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or he used to say oh Allah make me of those who frequently mention you frequently fear you frequently turn to you it's not something that one does every once in a while it is something that has to be a continuous perpetual practice for him to be called Munib, a slave who practices or who possesses Inaba. It has to be continuously done. We have to always turn and return to Allah Azza wa Jal. And as it is with Allah Azza wa Jal, always, Allah commands but yet gives incentives. To fulfilling the command many fruits one harvests from fulfilling inaba one is joy and happiness in the musnad of imam ahmad and classified as sound by al arnaut the prophet the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said a sign or a path to joy and bliss and happiness is when the slave lives long and is blessed by Allah Azza wa Jal to have inaba, frequently having inaba. Guidance. قُلْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُضِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي إِلَيْهِ مَنْ أَنَاب Say, O Muhammad, Allah leaves astray whom He wills. We ask Allah's protection from being misguided. And guides to Him. He who turns to Him. Who has Inaba? Jannah is a result of Inaba. وَأُزْلِفَتِ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ غَيْرَ بَعِيدٍ Paradise will be brought near to the pious, not far. هذا ما توعدون. It will be said, this is what you were promised. لكل أواب مني لكل أواب حفيظ. What are the qualities of Allah? Oh Allah, it is for those who frequently turn to Allah in repentance. And keep their covenant. Man khashiyar rahman bil ghayb. He who feared the most merciful bil ghayb. And bil ghayb means without seeing him. And it also means in secret. Meaning without anyone seeing him. So it has two meanings. Without him, him seeing Allah, and he guards himself from faults and sins when he's in seclusion. And came with a heart 
that frequently turns to Allah. One of the objectives of of sending down the Qur'an is to ponder and reflect upon it. Without having this quality, it becomes very difficult. Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَمَا يَتَذَكَّرُ None will be able to ponder. إِلَّا مَنْ يُنِيبُ Except for those who turn to him. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us, to bless our hearts, to be fully devoted to him, and to grant us this beautiful quality of inaba. Allahumma ameen, aqulu ma tasma'una wa astaghfirullah. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. How would someone recognize if he possesses this quality or not? If you find yourself keen on fulfilling the commandments of Allah عز وجل. and strive to make up whatever you missed out on, then that's one sign. If you try to avoid sin, but when you do commit a sin, as we're all fallible, we're humans, you genuinely feel pain in your heart. You feel hurt. And you hold yourself to account harshly for having committed that sin, then that's another sign. When you remember and frequently remind yourself with your shortcomings, then that's another sign. When you struggle against your own self and you strive hard, not to possess qualities that can hinder and block in Abba, such as pride and arrogance, then that's another sign. When you don't brag about your good deeds, you don't feel good about it, you don't feel accepted, that's a sign. Don't ever look down at someone whom you see sinning or heedless and feel that you're better than him or her. Because you never know, Allah Azza wa Jal might bless him or her with repentance and tries you with a sin upon which you die. If you don't have that in you, then that's another good sign. Working on, on fulfilling these signs. Try to realize these signs in yourself, in your reality. And you're upon the right path then.